Welcome to the Cardone Zone. Friday afternoon, 1 p.m. Welcome to my zone. You made it. That means you want more. I'll explain the outfit here in a second. Happy Halloween Day. If you're watching this after the fact, then you'll understand today is the end of the month. I am your pharaoh, your king. A man that did very little, King Tut, very little in his time and ended up being one of the wealthiest of all wealth ever. Today we're going to be talking about wealth, your money, your rich, your wealth, your future, how to get prosperity for yourself, your family, your household. I want it for you. I know you're here because you want that yourself. This is not for everyday average people. It's not for people that have given up. This is not for people that want to settle. This is not for anybody not willing to wear the garb, baby. Look at this, man. How much swag you got to have to dress up like the tut man, okay? Well, I did this today for my kids and my wife. Uh, My wife buys me an outfit every year. I don't know what that outfit is until I get to uh, I, until I get up in the morning, she's like, this is what you're wearing today. I'm like, let's roll. That's perfect for me. That's how I think. I want to be a king. Didn't you want to be a king when you were a kid? I want to be the king of the universe. That's what we do here. So uh, my name's Grant Cardone. You can you can actually ask questions to me at WitNation or whateverittakesnetwork.com, whateverittakesnetwork.com. If you haven't subscribed, you put your comments in there. Uh, I can actually respond to you during the show. You can also call in to 305-865-8668, 305-865-8668. Uh, before we get started, today's about how to get rich. I mean really sick rich. No matter where you are, you're waiting tables right now, okay? Or maybe you're making three hundred grand right now, or maybe you're making somewhere in between a waiter and three hundred, and you're like, I'm making 40000 a year. How would I get rich? Male, female, young, old, it don't matter. I can show you the way, and I will today. Before I forget, this program right here, Sell or Be Sold, full video, quick read book. Literally, you click it with a QR code, and I'm going to drop in and sh- in video, tell you what I said in each of the 17 chapters of my best-selling book, Sell or Be Sold. This is on sale all weekend for $9.99. I don't know why we did, just didn't call it 10 but it's $9.99. That's a $24 savings, in case you want to know, or $23 savings, something like that. All right, let's talk about this, all right? In Huffington Post this week, a survey came out that said 22% of Americans would rather die than retire without enough money. Now, this is a big problem in this country. This is a big problem in the wealthiest country in America, and the reason I do this show is because somebody's not paying attention. Ali Velshi wrote an article on LinkedIn last week talking about the income and wealth disparity in America being one of the biggest problems. I dress for you, Ali. Being one of the biggest problems, okay, in America, Beyond any other problem, the the wealth disparity and income disparity. And I wrote, if you want to check it out, just Google uh, Ali Velshi and wealth disparity and LinkedIn. Add those three things. And you're going to see a response I made to him. Because, folks, one of the problems with the wealth disparity, while it's a big problem, I agree it's a big problem, there's something that's happening in this country that you're not paying attention to that is going to continue to create a problem for you and your family. Okay, 22% of Americans say, I would rather die. Rather die, rather like cease existing than retire without money. But here's the facts. The current U.S. median house call in America is $51,900. If you're in middle America, you're like, man, I make enough money. I'm good. But here's the facts. The reason, Mr. Velshi, there's so much wealth disparity in this country is people are not paying attention to wealth as something they want. The middle class in America is not thinking about getting wealthy. They're thinking about getting by. 19% of middle-class Americans have zero savings. 20%, this 22% would rather die. 20% have no savings, zero. I don't care who you are, how broke you are, how bad your situation is, okay? There is no reason to have no money. And I've been there. I'm talking from personal experience. I haven't always been a king. I've always been meant to be a king. Didn't always have the garb, couldn't always dress like this on a Friday, didn't always own the place, didn't always have multiple streams of income coming in. I remember being broke behind the gun, uh, underneath, the, the, you know, underneath the, the, the debt of a, a government that I owed for college uh, tuitions that I didn't even learn anything. And I'm like, man, I want to get wealthy. I want to get rich. But nobody was talking to me about getting rich or getting wealthy. They weren't saying, hey, there's a way to do this no matter who you are. 34%. 
of Americans are not saving any money for retirement. A staggering 41% of Americans between 50 and 59, that's between in my age group, are not currently saving for retirement. 48% of people responded in their 50s said they will, will not have enough money to ever stop working in their lifetime. Now, that is the crux of the problem, okay? Because if you go check out the bank sites or if you go Google, how do I save more money, they're going to tell you all these little things to save more money, including increasing the air pressure in your tires of your car to lower your gas mileage. Folks, your problem is not how much money you spend on gas. Your problem is you don't earn enough money. And I've said that before in this show. You have to earn more money. The wealthiest people, if you just study back to the days of King Tut, or the richest person that's ever lived on this planet, uh, planet that has been quoted in the Bible over and over, King Solomon, and how he created wealth. If you go back and study all the inventors over time, to the Rockefellers, to the J.P. Morgans, to the people that built railroads, you're going to find common ingredients that anybody can learn from. One is they're all involved in passive income at some point. At some point, passive income. I'm not having to work to have money coming in. We're going to be talking about how you can create that today. And I'm happy to take your calls about how to get you on the track to earning passive income. How do I get residual passive income? That means I don't get it one month. I got a guy here in the office, 25 years old, every month he's going to get a check. And that's his pay plan. He keeps getting money from previous efforts. Three, cash flow positive. Most people do not understand cash flow positive. And lastly, you can start with nothing. Stay with me. This is Grant Cardone. You're in the Cardone Zone. I'm going to show you how to get wealthy, sick, rich today like a king. 